<laughs> right, hi, my name is um, Lindsay, and today we're going to talk about what triathlon is. So it's a 15 minute little workshop. Um, so if you'd just like to introduce yourself, please. My name's Paul. Um, okay, welcome. And if you do need to go to the toilet, you know where it is, it's just up the stairs. Please put your phone on silent if you can, and then we won't be disturbed. If you do need to take a message, that's absolutely fine. Just let me know and then you can step outside. That's okay. If you want a drink, also absolutely fine. So um, first of all, we're going to start off with why you've come to the course today. So obviously it's about triathlon, um, but I'd like to know what, what brings you here? Why do you want to know about the event of triathlon? I like doing all three sports. I'd like to give it a go of combining all three together and okay. see how I get on a race in. So you want to actually do the race, you want to actually learn to compete, you want to go ahead and try and actually do a try as such. Yeah. Have you done one before? No. Never? No. Have you swum in the open water before? I have. You have, okay. And how was that? That went okay, did it? It did, just okay. cold. Just cold, yeah, of course. Okay, so the aim of the course, we're gonna go through what triathlon is. We're gonna go through the distances, because it's various distances. We're gonna go through what you need, because you need, do need an awful lot of equipment for triathlon. Um, and we're gonna go through all those things. Obviously, if you have questions, just Give me an order or wave. I'm going to do a lot of asking you questions to make sure you know that you've learned some of the stuff that we're going through. We've got a slideshow as well. So if you want to look at that, you can and feel free to take notes. So I've got you a little workbook for there. So if you want to take notes, you can do. So it's just a little handout. There's a pen for you if you wish to. Okay. Right. So the first thing I'm going to ask you is what do you think triathlon is? It's a multi-sport yep. event of swimming, running and cycling. Yeah, okay. Do you think you can use anything else in there? As long as we also know it's a cycle, a run and a swim, do you think you can use any other kind of equipment? Is there any other format that you know of? No. no. Okay, no, that's fine. Okay, so yeah, you're absolutely right. So the first one is, it is a swim. Primarily, it's done open water. Um, you can do it in a swimming pool as well, and you can also do it in what they call an endless pool, which is a small tank, and then you just go against the tide, the, um, the tide that you create. The next part of a traditional triathlon is the bike, which I know you like doing, you like cycling on your bike, um, so that's probably your strength in that. That can be various distances as well, and then the next one is the run. So all three combined in that order is the basic traditional triathlon okay um right got any questions on that bit no okay so there's other types of triathlon we mentioned that there's the traditional is the swim bike run format you can see there's also one called aqua bike what do you think is missing from that one so we've got swim and bike what's missing running yeah paying attention well done <laughs> and then the next one is aquathon and that's a run and a swim so the bike is then missing so if you don't particularly like biking then you can just knock that one out and then just do this run and swim the next one is the duathlon which is the run bike and then you combine the end one with another run okay then we've got the traditional format of triathlon which you'll see in the olympics and you'll see, uh, you'll probably see that on the TV an awful lot. And lots of the races you see at the venues are the traditional format. And then there's a really rare one, which I've never seen and I've never done. It's called the reverse triathlon. So you start with your run, you go with your bike, and then you've got to swim. Okay? So which one do you think you'd like to try out all those? All of them. I'd prefer the traditional one. The traditional. Yeah, so it would swim, bike, and run. So moving on from that, you've got all the types of triathlon um, and then you then move on to the distances. So distances are kilometres or miles. The traditional is the Olympic. So when you see the Olympics, that is the distance they'll do. So you've got um, a 0.93 or the mile swim, which is rounded up to a 24 mile bike and then a six kilometre run. So that is the traditional uh, distance. Um, and then the sprint distance, which is slightly smaller. So you've got the smaller half distances and then it goes on and on. So you've got half Ironman and then an Ironman. Um, what do you think Ironman would consist of? Or distances, do you have any idea? 
Long. Long. <laughs> could be a good answer. So the Ironman basically is the longest format you can. You can actually do an ultra, but as a recognised one, um, it is the Ironman of 2.4 mile swim. And then you've got 112 miles on your bike, followed by a full marathon, which takes an awful, awful lot of training. Okay. Right. Okay. So the next thing we're going to look at is what we need for our triathlon. Okay. Actually, before we do that, I want you to spend a minute just jotting down all the things that you think you're going to need for your triathlon. Okay. Just a minute. It's fine. So just oh, think about the swim, think about your bike and your run, and obviously the obvious things you need, but maybe not the non-obvious things, because there's a lots and lots of other things that you actually need, as well as lots of energy. Just a minute or so. Have you gone up the notch? We're going to go through it afterwards. Yeah. Okay, so what have you got? Read your list out for me. Bike, helmet, cycling shoes, wetsuit, goggles, trainers. Right, okay. What are you going to wear for your run then? <laughs> Shorts and t-shirt. Shorts and t-shirt. Okay, yeah, so that's the basic list of things that you might need. Um, that's actually really good. So you've thought about your helmet, that's absolutely fine. You've thought about your bike, which is obviously really important, um, and your wetsuit. If you're open water, yes. Um, some races, if it's too hot, you don't need your wetsuit. Absolutely not. They won't allow you to. There's quite strict, strict rules. Right, so here we go. You've got your bike, goggles, and trainers, helmet, which is mandatory. You cannot do a organised triathlon event without a crash helmet on. Um, it, they're really, really strict on that, so that's a really good one to remember. Um, there's other little things here as well, you know, water bottle as well, and then goggles. Okay, and then it seems obvious that you'll need a swimsuit, if you do need a swimsuit. A lot of people decide to wear a triathlon suit, so you can do that as well. Um, and a lot of people, yeah, most people wear wetsuits because it is cold, okay? So you've got lots of things there you can use. Your swimming gear, basic things, swim cap, wetsuit, goggles. That's it. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Okay, so all these other things, wetsuit, sometimes not required, it's just given information. So we can go back over this at another time in more depth if you decide that you want to go on to the, the next level and learn it in more detail as well. So the tri-cycling gear as well, bike, which you've talked about, which is really good. The helmet, perfect. Okay, we're just going to skip through these. Running, yep. Yeah. A lot of people have their running trainers. Well, everyone has their running trainers. The other mandatory piece of equipment is your waist belt. So you're going to put that around your waist and then off you go. Excuse me, one moment. My phone has stopped. There we go. Okay. Is there any questions on that? Are you quite happy with everything that we've covered? In that bit. I am. Yeah, I'm not going too fast. No, absolutely fine. Right, the other really, really important part of triathlon is the part in between. So you're going to swim and then you're going to get out and then you need to change to your bike stuff and so on. Do you know what that part is called? No. You don't know. Okay, so that section is called the transition. So people call it the fourth discipline sometimes of triathlon. So you come out from your swim, you then got to take your wetsuit off. And then you somehow need to get into your bike clothes and things like that, okay? So that's called transition. And another really good part of triathlon, it's a very, very busy area. In the, if you go for a race, if we just did one from the house, then we'd just run home, change them on the couch. So um, how do you think it works, transition? What do you think happens? <laughs> For your designated area, we have to get changed. Yeah, you just don't come in, chuck your clothes off and run off, do you think? No, no. no? Okay, yeah, that's right, actually. So uh, when you come out and swim, swim, whether it be a swimming pool or a lake, you have to run to the transition area. As you can see, it's quite a busy area. Take off your wetsuit or whatever um, you have on and then put your bike shoes on and your helmet. 
okay? You're not allowed to touch your bike until you put that helmet on, okay? So you might want to think about that because when we do a little quiz at the end, that might be in there. Um, some people on their bikes have this thing called aero bars, um, which makes people go a lot faster. So another one, just have a little think about that as well. You might want to write it down because um, that's in our quiz, might come up in our quiz at the end, okay? Cool. So that's transition. Okay, so what is transition? I've just sort of mentioned what it is. Um, transition is an area where zone, a zone participants change gear and clothes. They do everything else they need to do right before moving on to the next stage. And again, it's a very, very strict area with rules and things like that in. Okay, cool. So there's two transitions. You go from your swim and then you go to your bike. And what do you think the next transition would be? Bike to run. Bike to run, yeah. Okay, so it's the same area. You just pop your bike down, put your trainers on and off you go. That kind of uh, transition, swim to bike, is also known as the brick as well because sometimes your legs will feel like bricks okay so another one to remember okay so that's the kind of end of the presentation on that so we've kind of gone over everything to do with the triathlon so we know the main one is the swim then the bike then the run and the bit in the middle is called the transition excellent well done okay good fab so shall we have a go at all quizzes now then do you want to do a quiz? Right, okay, so the basic this is just to see that you have really been paying attention to me throughout this course. <coughs> I know you have, so I'm going to pass you on. And we talk, um, normally when there's more people here, we would do it as a written quiz and you'd sit and mark them off. But I'm just going to speak to you about them. So first question, what are aero bars? Specially designed handlebars to improve aerodynamics and performance. That's right. true. Yeah, there's three choices. I should point out there are three choices of um, answers on here. Obviously, one is the correct answer on there. So it's not crunchy protein bars, as that one says. Um, what is a tri suit? It's a suit you can wear in the water, wear for, for the bike, basically, wear for all three disciplines. Yeah. Yeah, so it is basically an outfit that can be worn throughout the whole entire race. And when it's really, really hot, that's all that the triathlete will wear. Okay. Um, if I'm going to say to you, Paul, you're going to take part in your first tri event, can you use any bike? What would the answer be? Does it have to be a specific tri bike or could it be a mountain bike? Could it be a hybrid bike? What would you say? I'd say any bike, really. Yep, yeah, any bike. Obviously not a tandem. You're not allowed to cheat. That's not allowed. Good. Um, okay, the next one. What is a transition area? Where you go from one sport to the other until you get changed. Yeah, so it's a designated area where you store your bike, you transition into the next stage of the race. So from swim to bike, there's a transition from bike to run, like we said. Good. Um, what did I say a brick was? What do, what do you think that was? I've only glanced in it a little bit. It's going from the bike to the run. Yeah. Your legs are going to be aching. yeah, and again, really, really important that you try and train, train for that in your session. Um, if you saw a DNF, well, I haven't asked you about this, I haven't mentioned this, a DNF on the list of triathlon races, what do you think that means? Because I've got my life on bike and it did not finish. Didn't finish. Okay, the reason for that could be medical, could be anything, but also, as I said before, tri triathlon has a really, 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 really stringent rule book especially if you're doing an official race so sometimes they will put you as dq just qualified or dnf okay oh lost the page one moment sorry hang on oh have you got more oh there it is thank you okay so last one is what is t2 i presume that's the second transition yeah the tri actually, that was a trick question. So T1, transition one, T2 is that. Okay, brilliant. So it's the last transition. Right, fantastic. So you have actually answered all those questions. That's really, really good. So that's going to conclude our little um, workshop this morning, or this evening. Um, so thank you very much. Have you got any questions at all? I don't think so. You sure? Okay, brilliant. But thank you. What I'm going to do now, I just want to give you a little feedback form, obviously, um, to let me know if there's any further questions or anything you'd like to know about triathlon and also of course evaluation forms so it's just a few questions 
just to make sure that we've ticked all the boxes of what that you wanted to learn today and find out, all right? But thank you so much for being part of it. I really, really appreciate your time. Thank, thank you. you.